Hey guys. <clears throat> hey guys, Admin here with the review it up video for you. In today's review video, we are going to be looking at three Monster High dolls. One is from the Scaradize series and the other two, I think they're just regular series dolls. <laughs> Correct me if I'm wrong in the comments. We have here Heath Burns from the Scaradize Island collection. From the regular series dolls of Monster High, we have here Venus McFly Trap. And lastly, we have Draculaura. Now for Draculaura and Venus McFly Trap, these two dolls separately retails for $24.99. And for Heath Burns, he retails for $17.99. From the other series from Scaradice Island, we have as well Frankie Stein, Claudine Wolf, Draculaura, and as well a playset with um, Laguna Blue in it. I'm not really interested in collecting the other three dolls and as well um, Laguna Blue from this line just because I don't really like to collect any other dolls that are not like as a series regular. I mainly just like to see the doll fully dressed and what they originally wear in the movies and all this, the episodes really because like movie type looks we only mainly see them in just that look like one time and that's it. It's rare to see them repeat the look um, but the majority for me like I'd rather just collect just the dolls dressed like regularly like how they would do every day. That doesn't really count for Draculaura here just because I have seen her OG look from her OG doll from last year I think it was 2023 or 2022 that G3 Monster High Dolls officially came out. No, I wasn't really a fan of her look. I thought it was too babyish. It was too pinky dinky. I don't know. Like it was just really wasn't giving me Monster High. Whereas this one here because I'm seeing more of like black coloring and with some pink here, the pleather, I'm just like fully like in love with it. I think it looks pretty cool. Not pleather, but more like plasticky, like the latex type of like look of it all. Look of it all. Well, unbox her in a bit um, to get the full experience. But just seeing her like this and this look here, it's just honestly my favorite Draculaura doll that has ever come out with. And Draculaura had a bunch of dolls coming out, mind you, during Generation Three. I have a soft spot for all of the male dolls and every other like doll brand. I already have um, Deuce and as well Claude from G3 of Monster High. So he is the third male doll to come out of Monster High. In terms of his OG look, this is pretty much what he would wear, except for the blue sandals. He would be wearing blue sneakers, which I wish they would have just added the sneakers anyways, just cause it's pretty much a good match to what he normally wears. The box is pretty simple for all of the Scaradice dolls. It's pretty much the same packaging except for Laguna since she does come with a playset. Um, pretty much kind of like a budget doll, if you will, for the series, for the brand of Monster High. For these two to have their series dolls, honestly, I like the fact that they come out with this. We don't need like a whole collection of series, like series one, series two, series three. Just give us your characters in doll form and as well with their like their own packaging like for these two i mainly we only just see their artwork in the front instead of just seeing side characters like i don't need to really see that like i'm mainly concerned for more of like venus here like i care for venus not to see anyone else plus it looks really cute for like doll packaging like collectors to collect them in packaging like this looks just beyond gorgeous to me and as well venus herself Compared to her OG look, 
seeing comparisons here from her initial look that she came through. It's still similar, like the green um, skin tone, the pink and green hair, um, the plant um, effects with her look, her hair. Um, I think it's still giving as much as Venus, like from the OG. But I will say, I don't own one from Generation 1, but this G3 doll, I think it looks better. And that's shocking to say that just because, you know, when you're trying to recreate a line or reboot a line, it's very hard to kind of get the OG looks, the OG fans, um, the right way with the new line, with the new reboot. Um, but Venus here, I think she's pretty good. She's very good, actually. I have been saying, well, at least to myself, I've been saying that G3 is a great example of G1 with a splash of G2. G2 was just borderline kid friendly. There was no edge, there was no like creativity. It was pretty much like basic, it was pretty much like basic standards. And that's not what we want in doll collecting and doll purchasing. Like I want some creativity, I want some originality, I want something fresh. And I think this line of Monster High G3 is doing a very good job at it so far. I had my doubts about G3. I mean, have you seen my TikTok account on Celebi Taunts where <laughs> I make fun of it that it was gonna be canceled in a year or two? Um, honestly, I don't see that happening anytime soon. I think Monster High is doing a great job of it. Um, I don't know how much longer it'll last, obviously, because, you know, with all brands, it's very tricky to see and to know. Um, but, I mean, I'm glad how it's doing so far. Like, it's doing amazingly well. Also, I haven't really seen like any of the movies or TV shows from the cartoon version. I have seen the live action version movies, um, the first one and the second one. I think they're both really well, well done. I just wish that we could have gotten movie dolls, <laughs> but that's just my thing. For both packaging for Venus and Dracula, very pretty much standard to the point, just with their characteristics on the sides here. And as well, they get a pet of their own, Venus got Chulian, Chulian, and then Dragulara has Count Fabulous. And on the back of each packaging, we do get a little bit about themselves. And I love that about how Monster High is doing with their different languages. I mean, it's international, like, hello, we all want to understand. So it's pretty cool that we get to see that as well in packaging. For Heath Burns, we don't get that in the packaging on the back. We just mainly get an illustration. And as well with the other three dolls in the line. And we just get, um, I guess, a summary, a little thing about um, Scaradise Island. Which, let me know in the comments, is this a movie or just an episode from the series on Nickelodeon? Because I'm kind of confused on to what this is. I thought it was from that one um, thing that they did before in G1. A Monster High Escape from Skull Shores back in 2012. I thought it was kind of like that, but I don't believe so. Again, let me know in the comments. Okay, so with all that being said, let me go ahead and unbox these three dolls. I'm trying to carry them all um, for a closer look. So now I'm just showing you all the accessories up close. Starting with Jackie Laura's. Here we have a beverage where actually, all the items can be pulled out. Like even the details to like the littlest things amazes me with Monster High. Here is her like little lunchbox. Her sunscreen. I'm assuming this black bottle with the lips on it is like lip gloss or lipstick or something. I'm gonna say lip gloss. Her monster magic book. Here it is opened. And with her pet. And with her pet. Um, it's not posable or anything. It doesn't like move. It just stands there. She does come with this backpack here with a little charm. It's white with white, it's pink with white details and that can open.
So with her little accessories, minus the sunglasses, cause that's part of the outfit, it does fit into the backpack, mind you. Just be cautious, just because I don't know if things will get stuck. I just wanted just out of curiosity to see a bit of an outfit, but it pretty much does. You do see the Spo book um, or the monster book to be a little out. Um, but I mean, if you do it carefully putting in the stuff, then I'm sure you can manage to close it. So here is Venus McFly Traps accessories. She does come with this, not a backpack, it's kind of more like a basket pack or something. I don't know what to call it. Um, but all of her accessories mainly fit here, minus the sunglasses. Um, here is her pet that is, I'm blanking on the name, but here's the pet. It could separate from the basket. The basket does have a peg. We could put her in there and secure. Um, the pet does fit in the backpack, um, but you just need to take the accessories out. Like so. With her accessories, she comes with the, a bar, um, a cell phone, a water bottle. This, I'm assuming, is just a, yeah to hydrate her plant, her pet. And a journal. And with the water bottles, you can remove the tops, even from the spray bottle. And then lastly, here is he ferns his accessories. Um, just sunscreen and a beverage and a tote bag, um, which the tote can't open. So you can place things in there. Okay, so that took quite a while. Um, it is three dolls and with the little accessories and a take out. But I think overall together with all three, it took me like 10 minutes, 15 minutes. It wasn't like that bad. Plus I was watching a live on YouTube. So it's like, ah, distractions. Okay, so now we've gotten into the accessories. Let's go ahead and get into the dolls themselves. Starting off with Heath Burns, we have him and his sunglasses. Again, I wish he would have came with sneakers and as well the sandals would have been the another part of the accessories because it is pretty much a standard look of Heath from the Nickelodeon cartoon. So I actually like how he is. The one thing I will say, I think it's growing on me, but I'm still like iffy about it is his hair. Now, mind you, it is supposed to be fire, but I feel like the top part is giving pumpkin like it's too round, I feel. I think they needed more waves to go through. If not, this to be a little smaller, not so like round. Like, I don't know what else to like say or like do to make different, but I think it's growing on me a little bit. Um, Cause I'm not as complaining as I was when I first saw his images, <laughs> um, but still not bad with his face. I think it's cute. Um, it kind of resembles a little bit to like not really, no. His G1, because I do own a Heath Burns doll that came with Abby Abominable in that um, in that cooking class um, doll set. But he's a pretty good Heath Burns for G3. I'm not sure if he ever made one for G2, um, but for G3, it's pretty cute. Um, still wish he would have came with sneakers. He does have articulation at the head, on the shoulder, elbow, and wrist as well as the upper leg and at the knee and as well with the ankles. Mind you, on the sandals right now, they're pretty secure placing on the feet, but again, they're sandals, so they're not like fully fastened. So just be careful if you're gonna use this for like play or like take them out and about because they might fall off. They might, but so far not bad. And as well, lastly, the clothes do Velcro in the back. Here we have Jackie Laura and her, I guess it's her um, next look. I'm not sure what this look is supposed to represent. Like maybe it's just in one episode or maybe for a new season. They're switching looks because I've seen for Jackie Laura and as well Claudine Wolf, 
they got a new series looks in doll form so i don't know how it is for the show is that how they're going to be switched from their original looks that they came out with initially for g3 but i thought i do love this one obviously better that's why i bought her so here we have jackie laura I love the dark makeup that they gave her very much into that Dracula um, vampire type look. I, I just love it, especially with the sleeves here. Very puffy. There's even like a, a thing on the elbow where it's like closed off and then opens again. to give us more of a poof effect. Love that, not just fully opened. It is one full top at the bottom. The pink tank plastic pleather like top is separate as well with the collar here that's a necklace same with the skirt it's just two things not two things um there is some tool underneath just one layer for the skirt fishnet and <laughs> leggings i love that and with the boots i love a good heel boot and the details are there with the zipper the heart the wings is just also classic um, Monster High. The coloring of the earring, just pink and black. Again, her face is giving, I just love this face of Draculaura. The one thing I will note is um, the hair is not bad. Um, the hair is just classic standard doll hair, I guess. Um, the one thing I will note though is that I don't like how literally every single Draculaura doll looks to the side. I wish I would have, I wish this one to be 100% perfect to be looking forward. That's just me as a doll collector. I like my dolls to look forward, not just sides, cause it's kind of hard to like do stuff with them. Like picturesque, you have to like aim them a different way. I just want them full face forward. But I mean, she still is gorgeous. The makeup won me over completely. And then the outfit and the accessories, it just won me over. With her little like bat wing sunglasses here and with her spider web like And last but not least, we have Venus McFly trap here. Oh my god. Talk about um, bad bitch energy. I don't know. She's giving me a like a full on like cool girl, bad girl, all into one. Like we're about to save this earth. We're all about to recycle. Like... This girl makes me want to go and like clean up a beach like like in that sense you know what i mean like how venus is i'm not sure how she is exactly on the tv show um but she just looks like a baddie like she looks so cool i i honestly love this look i would wear this look for myself honestly i love like the t-shirt um and the long sleeve netting of the yeah the long sleeve the shorts the chain bow the chain necklace to match with it um, the outfit is just fully 100% giving. There is a clip on her hair for like a plant vine. As well, she has two earrings the side. Even the bag is detailed off her outfit. Like, come on. The braids, she does have, I love the pink braids on the side here. It is molded onto the head. But the braids are very soft. I'm not sure what type of material this is, but it's very very soft mind you the ends here do look undone so just be mindful of brushing um of play it might come undone i'm not sure how to like stop it or to close it off but i mean just you know warning the shoes um the socks i mean the net and the uh, the cuts on the long black sock i just can't the boots are definitely giving me monster high g1 because of the teeth on the front, the vines, the, the fade of pink and gray. Like, this is great. I think she's a great representation of G1 style with a splash of G2. Be edgy, but also make it kid-friendly. Because I don't see anything here. I mean, maybe you can count, like, the shorts and, like, the teeth on the, on the shoes. Um, but that's Monster High. Like, come on now. It's Monster High. Just give in to it. <laughs> like, they're just all good. I I just... I mean, you see some dolls, you know, give or take, 
that are questionable with fashion and style, but I mean, a lot of them are doing a really good job, especially with her face, the, just the face itself. Yes, she is looking to the side, um, but she baddie. <laughs> I'm gonna give her a pass, I, I can't with myself. Sorry, not sorry. So that is it for my overall review of Monster High with Jackie Laura, Venus Vitrap, and with Heath Burns. Overall, will I recommend getting these dolls? Honestly, any of these three, 100%. For $24.99 and for Heath to be $17.99, I mean, what, we, what you get, the articulation, the details, even the smallest details are just fully well thought out. I think a lot of heart went into Monster High G3. I love these three so much. I'm glad to add them to my collection and honestly go for it. I mean, my number one favorite, I would have to say, cause I can't really like do a ranking cause they're not all part of the same series. Uh, but my favorite has to be Venus. She just looks so cool. I, I just love her. I mean, I had to pay retail for her. I didn't use like a sale or anything like that. So that just shows how much I love this girl. Plus $24.99 for the details of the doll, the outfit details, and as well for the accessories, you do get a lot. I do think that $24.99 is a great retail price. So be that as it may, you know, I mean with sales, I think it might go to $19.99, which is very great for what they are, what they have, what they come with. So take that as you will. I 100% recommend getting them. But that is my overall review, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know all your thoughts and opinions down below. Would any of these three be a buy for you or a pass for you? Which one's your favorite, your least favorite? Let me know all your thoughts and opinions. Check out the Celebritons YouTube channel down below with other videos of Monster High dolls, Barbie dolls, Rainbow High dolls, etc. Check out Celebritons on all social media platforms such as TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, um, Twitter, now X, um, I'm gonna just call it Twitter, um, etc. with that. And thank you guys so much for watching. Bye.